Extensive operation is underway here at Home Depot's command center in Atlanta, Georgia. Nearly 300 associates from supply chain and merchandising operations are working around the clock to get as much product to the affected regions and their stores in the Carolinas. The big objective is getting those supplies, the ones that those consumers will really need, from battery-powered flashlights, radios, generators, even wires. Getting that product to those customers and those stores is the key objective of this command center. But over the next 24 hours, transportation will become a challenge. Trucks cannot be on the road if winds sustain 40 miles per hour. That's when the local distribution centers will kick in. I want to bring in uh, Tad McIntosh of Merchandising from Home Depot. Tad, what are some of the challenges that your assets are facing right now on the ground? So right now it's really just a waiting game, wanting to let the storm go through, and then our associates and our supply chain as well as our field merchandising team is out there waiting to get into the impacted zone, understand the needs of the community, make sure everybody is safe, and get products flowing to the community as fast as possible. And of course, any wrinkle or miscommunication can disrupt this entire operation. Tad, thank you. Thank you. And we also want to point out, this is just one of many command centers that are across the region in the East Coast, not just the home improvement retailers like Home, like home Depot and Lowe's, but telecom providers, AT&T and Verizon, even the cruise lines, Carnival and Royal Caribbean, have their own command centers that they are using to bring in information, put together a contingency plan so they can respond as soon as possible as they watch this hurricane Florence hit ground. Guys, back to you.